Hi, this is Luis Recamonte with ChimeraFitness.com. In this segment, I would like to talk to you about balance training. The first thing that we need to do to uh, train balance is to make sure that we have good posture. So good posture is uh, defined by our ability to stay in proper alignment. That means your head will be tall, rib cage stays down, pelvis neutral, not anteriorly tilted or posteriorly tilted. So neutral pelvis, rib cage down, spine stays tall. Then I go to my then I go to my lower body, I check my hips, knees and feet in proper alignment. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing with lifting one leg off the ground and placing it down. Alternate and place it down. As I lift the knee up, make sure that your body doesn't flex and contract. So keep your body tall. There's going to be a little bit, a little shift to the side as you move one leg up here, shift to the side. Make sure that that shift is not exaggerated so you're not bending your hip too far out or compensating with your torso being too far to the side. So maintain that good alignment throughout the movement. If you can do that and hold this position for let's say 10-15 seconds, then the next thing to do would be to start moving the leg back and up keeping all those points that we just talked about, keeping your uh, uh, spine extended, neck tall, then we can start reaching. Once we can do that, we can play around with different tools to enhance the effectivity or balance training. So if we have good alignment in our ability to perform this reaching patterns, you see my foot, my knee, my hip, my shoulder, everything stays in line, my core is active, my spine is tall, I'm not bending, I keep everything extended. So I have two different ways that I can advance my balance training. Number one would be to add unstable surfaces, such as this mat. So all I'm going to do is a step on the mat, the mat is going to provide slight instability, so which means that my foot will sink on the mat and it will, uh, uh, I will have to work harder in a staying center. And I will go over the same pattern. Good. And reaching. Next thing, or another thing that we can do to increase the strength of those patterns. So first the pattern needs to be clean. If the pattern is clean, then we can add resistance and strengthen that pattern. The way I'm going to do this is by carry a weight on the same side, put it down, and then pick it up. Down and then up. And that's a single leg deadlift. And there you have it. Balance training from the beginning you know, to the end. Make sure that you have proper alignment between your joints, your core is active, and you are able to uh, do each exercise correctly before progressing into more advanced movements. If you enjoyed this uh, training tips, uh, check us out at chimerafitness.com for more information.